Sorry to bother you, Crayden, but something has been troubling me. What is that? Why didn't Noelle come with you to Berlin's? Oh yeah, right, a sister. There was something. <laughs> I was wondering what you get around to asking me that. With everything that's happened, and all the peril and whatnot. No, of course, she slipped your mind. I am shamed though, she is my sister. <laughs> well, I suspect she's a touch distracted herself. But by love rather than peril. When Piers arrived to ferry us, she seemed especially vibrant, aglow even. When I disembarked, she simply told me I'm going with Piers. Piers is a powerful adept, so she'll have a fine tutor, but they just sailed off together? Piers is one of the most capable sailors in the world. I'm sure no harm will befall her. I had no idea, but I'm glad she didn't get tangled up in all this. She was always the lucky one. I wonder if you won't eventually think the opposite. Why, where are they sailing to? If we stand here reflecting on every one of our worries, we'll never leave. Onward! I love how they kind of like just shoehorned that in. Like, we saw his sister once and then never again. And at some point I feel like they were like, Oh yeah, right, we should maybe explain that to the player. <laughs> uh, we've created what essentially becomes sentient life. It's gonna cause great problems regarding human rights in the future, I think. Yeah, the future and the ethics of AI is something, yeah. It's like one of those things that's gonna cause huge problems, and that's why I like to not think about it at the moment. Uh. <laughs> Way to know what sort of areas you want to declare. Hang on, sorry, it's a useful tool, but at the moment it's replacing the skull knowledge of human being. And I hope it stays that way. But yeah, well, we'll see what AI brings. Also, one thing I really hate about AI, um, I think we had that news like the last few days, is that um, Google, like Google's carbon emissions shot up because of AI, uh, because of the processing power it requires. Um, so that's shit. <laughs> don't, don't like that. Um... AI isn't gonna be of particularly much use when the world's on fire. So, yeah. Hmm. But I do think there are like some things. I think I think if we if we like restrict AI on like a certain few areas, I think there can do really good. Like I think for example AI can do really can really improve stuff in like medical care. From what I heard, that seems to be like one of the areas where AI seems to be like really, really promising in improving, improving things. So I'm all for them using it in that. Um, oh yeah, we'll see. Right. I mean, when it comes to when it comes to work and stuff, for now, the thing I'm mostly concerned about is uh, wanting to work less. I mean, if at the end of the day AI can provide me with less working hours while still being paid for the same amount, then I, at that point, I don't care anymore, probably. <laughs> Here we are, back with our lovely moving puzzles. So she can press guns. Human can take guns as no human could see. Exactly, these kind of things, like, that's that's where I'm all for it. And I think they should, like, you know, invest resources into that specific field for AI. Instead of... AI video editing. Or AI image generation. Like, I, re I really dislike that when you, like, search for something on Google Images, you, like, have to actively, you, you actively need to, like, filter out 
what's AI and what's not, and I, I, I hate that. <laughs> uh, wait, I think that thing can stay, can't it? Wait, hold on. Let's be smart about what we're doing here. Reveal that. Ah, I see. No, I didn't mean to. Wrong button! <laughs> I'm staying in front of it. There we go. I think that was like one. I don't know where that quote was from. But it was like something along the lines of, I want technology to get... Uh, to get better, so... Um, so I can focus on creative work as a human. And not the other way around. <laughs> I did a stupid. Wait, what the? F okay, I did. I did. I did not brain this puzzle well. But I'm looking forward to air responses from RP. See, I'm really torn about that one as well. I don't know how much. I, I mean, I guess if it's just the responses, it's fine. But then you also probably have like AI voice acting, and I'm really opposed to that. Unless the VAs are getting paid real good money to have their voice used by an AI. So yeah, I can I can see the appeal, but I can also see like what people have posted. I think I think it's gonna be. I think in general we're we're in for a while for a wild ride <laughs> when it comes to AI and what it will do in the future. Um, not sure if I'm looking forward to it or not, but it's not like I have a choice at this point. Like I don't want the follower repeating the same <laughs> like five lines. That's fair. Um. But I mean, you could also just like write, like humans could also like write really good like dialogue and dialogue choices. It's not like you need AI necessarily to do that. It's more of a question of how much effort like game does want to want to put in and obviously the, like the monetary aspect. So yeah, obviously an AI will be able to do that a lot cheaper than human writers can. Um, yeah. It's just labor, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And I mean, at the end of the day, you probably need someone to proofread through the entire thing anyway, just so that it, like, makes sense and isn't, like, completely off. Huh. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. I'm worried that skill sets will be lost to the relying on AI. That is probably gonna happen inevitably, sadly. Um... I mean, I think at the end of the day, we're we're living through right now what people lived through when like computers became a thing, right? I mean, computer was a job description at one point. <laughs> um, what I'm just hoping for is that, like, while it will certainly like remove certain skill sets from humans and stuff like that, what I'm really hoping is that it doesn't take away like. 
the fields of creativity. Because I think those are, like, the most important to, to, to like, humans. Um. Again, I think this is where, where that quote fits well in. Like, I want machines to be good, so I have to focus less on chores and can focus more on creativity. And not the other way around. Um. Okay, now we need to actually puzzle. How would one do this? Imagine me actually having to think in this game. What is this? Figure it out. Got it. As with any new tech, though, I think some people will lose jobs, but new jobs never heard of might start. So you have no idea how it will change the world. I mean, because the smarts won't change the world. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna... The world is constantly changing. Um, but the human mind is necessarily <laughs> made for that much change to occur in a lifetime, I think. I've marked about 600 questions. That is impressive, Craig. <laughs> That you only work for me. <laughs> yeah, how many how many hours you'd say, Craig, you work like in a week on average? That's that's I'm kinda curious about that. I mean teaching is still like one of those one of those things that I'd still like, just like to do at some point. I don't know why. Something... There's just something about it. <laughs> and it's not just because of, like, the... Uh... The times of school. Hey! We received our final Venus gym. Let's go. And if I remember correctly, it is completely useless. Yes, it is. Nice. Woo. Uh. Oh, my back. <laughs> Alright, neat. I tried to stick to 74, but we don't get. Really get breaks, so that's like 45 hours. And a good school. Let's get a little bit. Let's go ask. Okay, yeah, 45 hours. Something. I think the thing I heard is like 40 to 60. Seems to be like the regular. The regular thing. Which is a lot. But then you also get a bunch of weeks off, so that's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still, I still, I still don't get why, why it's such a common, such a common misconception that people think like, oh, as a teacher, you have to work very little. <laughs> And then they feel entitled to criticize. There we go. I mean, the thing is, we currently, like in, in Germany, we have a kind of very severe teacher shortage. Um, so even in like the vocational school I am currently, they're trying to like get people to like apply to be teachers. Um, and all that kind of stuff. 
And at the same time, though, the requirements <laughs> to becoming one are insanely high. <laughs> and I mean, I understand that you obviously need to set a certain, like, bare minimum for someone to be able to fulfill this role, um, which is quite an important one in society. Um, but sometimes it's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Like, if I would want to teach, um, as an example, if I want, would want to teach, like, I don't know, math and physics, right? If that's something I want to study, like, study for teacher in these fields, in order to apply to, like, university, I still need a certain grade in subjects like French. <laughs> Sure. Can't complain about the time off. But something people don't realize is that we aren't paid for those weeks off. Oh! Oh, that's kind of shit. Wait, that's really dumb. Okay. So... The way it works here is, if you become a teacher, you can enter, like, you can apply for a, a status that essentially means you are not employed by the school, but employed by the state. Um, you have to, like, there are, like, a certain amount of posts that, but yeah, you can essentially get, become employed by the state as a teacher, that's the thing. And then you get paid for those weeks off. And that's what you want to do as a teacher. Because otherwise, just like you said, you won't be paid for those weeks. And during summer, you essentially just become, like, jobless. And here's the very fun thing. Um, that is really shitty. So in order to get the status, um, they, like, check through a bunch of your, like, uh... Like, criminal, like you can't have criminal history, medical history, etc. And apparently, if you have ever been officially diagnosed with, like, a, like a mental disorder or something, it is very common for them to deny you that status. So, there are a bunch of people, young people who want to become teachers, and who would need to, like, who would need or would like to take therapy for various issues they ha have and they can't because they know if they do they will have to work as a teacher that doesn't get paid during vacations and that is a insanely shitty system it's so so bad surely that's not big that's how it works right now They spread your pay out, so you still get payday, but it's not paid weeks. That's still terrible. <laughs> like, surely you should then get paid significantly more for those weeks you work for, like, 45 hours. But yeah, just, just, just goes to show over and over again how very stupid this world is um and i don't know i th i think there there are efforts to like change it um But yeah. Also, you can only get the status until I think you're 35. If you like become a teacher after that, you're like locked out of getting it, which is also a thing. Um. So, uh, really fun system they came up with. Um, incredibly. But yeah, that, so that means for me, essentially, I would be locked out of the entire process. 
Which is fun. Is he working on a camera again? Considering that teachers are like some of the most important people we have in society, they should pay you double. <laughs> My opinion. Incredible. I think there's a teacher double sheet shortage. I've only ever heard it like here, but yeah. I know it's really bad in the US as well, just because they get paid so little over there. Oh, an another dumb reason why we have a teacher shortage uh, is because they, like the state does not employ enough teachers. Um, which is really stupid, because technically speaking, you have like six years in advance to make sure there are enough teachers for like the next generation. <laughs> Um, but oh well. And then it's also like on a state by state basis because we don't like organize education on a federal level here, but on a state level. And the people in charge in my state are... How do I put this nicely? Not the best at their job. Um, as an example, in 2018, uh, they completely slashed the budget for, like, um, flooding protection. And just a few months ago, months ago, we had the worst, like, floodings in the state. Um, in, you guessed it, precisely the areas predicted... And the areas where flooding protection would have been built with the funds that they've cut. Uh, yeah. Great. Great people we've got there. Really. It doesn't make money directly, it all goes down the line. It's never immediately. I think there's a. I think. I think. Some some sectors just in some sectors it shouldn't be about like making money because as you said they make money down the line by bringing people into high paying jobs and then like um, improving the economy that way Appro yeah adding to the economy that way the same with transportation I don't think. Public transportation should be like uh, oriented in a way where like try to make money. It should be as cheap as possible, as frequently as possible. Because it Yeah, it generates money down the line. Health is another sector where it doesn't make sense. Like, for some reason, elderly care here is set up in a way where the... Where, like, homes for the elderly, like, need to make money. Which is like, what? <laughs> Who came up with that? How we have a new government money is gonna go into health and education. Yes, I, I, I really, I really, I really hope the the new labor gov can can improve a bunch of things. Hopefully. Can only can only get better, I suppose. All right, wait.
Alright, does Feta now have the entire Umbral Gear? Yes, she does. Lovely. Alright. Um. So this is slightly awkward now. Um. Because we're essentially now ready for endgame. That's a cool attack. I like that. That looked fun. Uh, don't get hit by the tornado, please. Leave me alone. Thank you. A cynical side of me says we'll see. I mean, yeah, it's not it's not like you can do much at the moment, I guess. Other than like waiting for things to improve. Or not. I mean surely they can't get worse now. Hopefully. Oh, yeah. I actually like on, on Thursday evening I actually did stay up up until like um up until 11 a.m. to <laughs> uh, to watch the exit polls and everything. I don't know. I, I, I was just invested at that point. Also because like one of the few elections recently were like something good was expected to happen, which is nice, I guess. Uh. Uh. I don't have anything to sell. Don't have either. Alrighty. Um, okay. Uh, how am I gonna do this now? The thing is, once I go into endgame, I really don't want to go back because it's a long way. And, um. <laughs> no. I thought that in a blistrous tank the economy with one speed. <laughs> uh, yeah. I am, um, my, my, that, that, that is probably one of my highlights of the, of the entire election, is that, that she lost her seed is, uh, that was great. <laughs> uh, that was, that was good. Alright, uh, you know what, we're going, we're going to end the game. I'm not gonna do some stuff off stream, but we're ready. We will not fight the final boss today, I can tell that much. Ah, uh, there's a long way in between. Probably joy that did. Uh... But yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Like sometimes, sometimes good things happen in, in, in this world. Also, it was just great to be reminded that that British constituencies have names and. Uh, I think more countries should 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 do that. Level 40. So, usually, when I fight the final boss, I'm like around level 60. Uh, because I usually grind a lot beforehand, because the final boss scares me. Uh, door is firmly shut. So, we'll see. Come on, go up. <clears throat> Straight up, Mario and P question, Sarah. That, that is nice. Yeah, I mean, obviously, if they if they take on that, this is another question, I suppose. 
but yeah, our 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 districts are a lot a lot bigger. Um. And from experience, the the MPs that are elect, uh, elected in, in districts don't really care about them too much. <laughs> Or only care about their like voter base, but then again, because we have like a lot more like regional government stuff, I think that's also what it comes down to. Not that they are much better, but you know, at least they're there. <laughs> All right. Up we go. Let's go. Welcome to the Endless War. Ye whose goal is the light, show me the three treasures so that I might see them with my own eyes. Ah, uh, I love this like final fly music. It's such a good track. And then you get random encounters to interrupt your heroic ascent up the wall. My favorite. God damn it. Oh, wait, thank you. Nice. This is also the point where we're, like, mostly done with secrets and stuff. So, everything's nicely straightforward, and I like that. What I don't like is giant groups of enemies. Oh my god, they have so much health. Oh my days, come on. Oh, thank you. Ugh. Yeah, okay, we'll definitely we're we'll we'll definitely we'll be getting some levels here. Um see I have a certain endpoint for the stream in mind. Maybe, potentially. Let's see. God, I love this track. Apollo Ascent. Uh, yeah, I think this is the only area where this is oh. Touch the statue's forehead. Mm. Okay. Oh boy. Come on. 
can't finish what the fuck. Got to run this up this question left. Uh, I'm gonna finish once I've reached the peak of this area. That's my... That's the goal. I mean, considering how... I mean, I mean, you seem to be getting through these quite quick. Considering you did like 600 earlier. Hey, but throw. Nice. But yeah. I mean, marking tests. Does not sound fun. But what I've realized for myself is that like creating tests, that's I I, I like that a lot. Um I've been kind of doing this for like vocational school. Um, because I realized I do learn really well when I like try to come up with test questions and then answers to those questions. Then I usually also share them with like the people in our group, so they have like, you know, they also have like additional questions they can work with, and oh, I I love doing that. <laughs> it's so fun. It's in the computer system. So it just burns, pop and mark, hit next. Twenty-four questions left. Ah, okay, I see. That still seems like a lot of work, <laughs> especially for a Saturday. <laughs> Woo. Oh. I'm not aiming to finish them all today. Fair enough. <laughs> that does uh, that sound quite exhausting. But at least you seem to you, you seem to making good progress, which is which is always nice. Um... Oh, I forgot this area existed. Should look at that. I probably shortcut that. That's a sneaky one. I mean, I kind of love this though, because even though I was just like, like I did not remember this area being here, now that I've seen it, I like know exactly what to do. This game feels so second nature to me at this point. That's like, unless it's like a dedicated puzzle. It just has a nice flow to it, that game. I love that. Uh, armor. Wait, do we have other good stuff? So, yeah, cursed items means it just applies the curse that is effect to someone who wears it. And I think you can't take it off until you go to like a sp 
a specific NPC to like remove the curse and the cursed item off you. On the other hand, cursed items are usually really powerful. And later down the line, we'll find a forgeable material that offers. Oh, that when forged turns out cursed items, so you can just like stack all of them on one person. Um, just kind of, kind of really useful. Hmm. Off we go. So I think this is the second to last area. I'm not completely mistaken. It's gonna be fun because I want, I, I'm gonna do some forging off stream, which means I'm gonna have to walk all this thing back and then before next stream, up again. Uh, oh, the things you do sometimes. This is like a thing where, I think we had that last time about uh, fast travel not being the greatest thing in the world. As it can ruin the experience of a game by allowing you to way too easily traverse the world. I think this would be like a good point to introduce fast travel to the game. Because by this point you have done everything manually anyway. Um, and so providing players with like quick and easy backtracking options now Would really incentivize going for like the last few percentages or like the last few few secrets and stuff Which would be really cool Well, maybe they do that in the sequel. That will never come. <laughs> God, this sword has good special moves. It's a shame because we will we will get a new sword very very soon, um, and so you usually only have this blade for quite a short while, which is why I try to get it as early as I can, or not as early as I can, but as early as it made sense to me. Because usually it takes me a lot longer to unlock like the special moves on it, uh, so I'm actually quite happy and surprised they like this quickly this time around. The finger. <laughs> Good morning, Becky. Oh, come in. How are you doing? Oh. Hope you had a good rest. Mine sl sleeping, sleep, sleeping long on Saturday is... Perfectly fair. <laughs> All right, so this is now actually like the very ominous screen I wanted to to end stream on, but uh, I'm gonna solve the puzzle and then we end stream. The path of light may not be trod without mourning those who pass into the shadow. Observe the rites thusly. First bring fire to the deceased eyes, then cleanse the forehead with a drop of water. Next, local breeze across the nose, and finally walk the path described by the scent of morning incense. Getting there, I've had COVID since Tuesday, and I'm still quite poorly with it. Oh no! Well, I hope, I wish you, wish you a speedy recovery, Becky. Every, every, everyone's getting sick these days. Oh no! But yeah, I'm doing, I'm doing quite alright. Yeah. 
I honestly don't think I know a single person who has not been, like, sick within the last month or so. That is... that is not good. <laughs> Apparently there is a new st strain. Oh, fantastic. I mean, I didn't test myself when I was, like, sick a few weeks ago, so... I might have had it, I just don't know. Smart connection thing. Uh man. All that's important to me is that not next week, but the week after. Uh I'm healthy and all four other people in the vocational school group are healthy. That's all that matters. Now we actually get to use track for like, I think the second time in the game. It's important that everyone stays healthy because uh, we have an escape room booked. Which was already a bit of a drama because like I booked the booked the date and time and then like two days ago I got like a message off them like hey could, could, could you guys come later we messed up a bit. <laughs> oh dear. Except like 1am, was also, so couldn't sleep. Yeah, that's fair. No, I stayed up until like 12 my end. Um, which I think is like 11 years. Because I had to go to work the next day, so. You know. But I wanted to at least, you know. I was too invested. So I had to, had to watch it. <laughs> Hit points and joins are fully restored. The gates to Apollo Sanctum will open for one who can align our embers correctly. And I think that is a good point to start next time.